that what have uh, identity reformation uh, mean to you? It's a new start for Hancock State Prison and they're leading the way. It's a beautiful thing going on right now. It is like I've, I've been in prison for a little minute and I never thought that I would see this type of change come, but the evidence-based pro evidence program has been a real blessing. It really has. Hancock State Prison is the first level five to become an evidence-based program facility. It's a two-year program with four phases that offers different electives facilitated by both staff and offenders. It's been proven that these programs help offenders not return to prison. I got my class and taught me patience and taught me how to open my mind up to other things. So it just really just really humbled me. It just taught me, how, taught me how to grow up, taught me how to be a grown man. Offender Ronald Smith started in the program in March 2018 and became a mentor about four months ago. He now teaches a Narcotics Anonymous course and has started to take a Spanish class, also facilitated by another offender. It's just like life. Whatever you put into it is whatever you get out, but it gives you a chance to actually re rehabilitate yourself. You know, when in prison, this is the time that you can invest in yourself. You're supposed to come here and change. Offender Smith says this program has improved their relationships with other offenders as well as staff. He also says the implementation of the program has transformed the prison's atmosphere. This evidence-based program coming in here has just been a beautiful change, the morale, the integrity, not only with the inmates, but as far as the administration too, because it allows us to interact on a level that we usually wouldn't and it allows us to have more respect for each other. In this positive conflict resolution, you know, we're coming together instead of people promoting violence and promoting strife and discord, we're promoting unity, we're promoting encouragement, we're promoting health and hope through all of these classes. The courses offered help the offenders find purpose and change their mentality. Some of the classes include peace, understanding self, managing anger, and gang renunciation. Select offenders are also getting the opportunity to have their gang tattoos removed. I got locked on when I was 17 years old and I came in the system with 14 gang charges. It was a way for me to show them, hey listen, that was me back then, this is me today, there's a growth period and now I can prove it to you, I can present it to you. We've chosen not to name or show the faces of those in the gang renunciation course. This offender started the evidence-based program six months ago. I realized that one choice I made at 17, I'm 25 now, will consistently affect me. But then I took it as, okay, what can I do with this? How can I make this beneficial for other people? He's also taking Journalism 101. He says he wants to help the youth learn from his mistakes. Gang violence is a problem right now. It's an outbreak, it's too much, but we have their attention considering the fact they want to be just like us, but they don't understand, hey, we're not like that anymore. We did what we did out there in the street, but we came to prison and now we've been corrected, we've been reformed. I'm sitting here before you today, like I say, it's, it's, I have a life sentence, 14 gang charters and a murder charge, but hey, guess what? I'm in college right now going for a BA. Who would have thought? The next offender is also in the gang renunciation class, although he's never been in a gang. Taking the class allowed me to get to know the gang members, affiliated offenders or brothers, and uh, we worked together to solve a common goal, which was to get better in our thinking, our speech, our behavior. Uh, we held each other accountable up and down the walk as far as keeping your clothes up, being groomed, showing up for class, uh, exhibiting a certain behavior in the dorm. He says the program is all about discovering who you are and what your purpose is. Uh, the evidence-based program uh, is probably the best kept secret of the Department of Correction. Uh, I'm a repeated offender. And uh, what happened was I never addressed the primary problem of why I was committing those behaviors and acts. It offered me a chance to learn myself, to get to know myself and understand why I did what I did. Now he's taking a college course to become a rehabilitation counselor. He's hoping his experience with substance abuse can help someone else. Prior to this class, I didn't really think there was going to be a second chance to step outside of the chain gang world and go back into society and be successful. Those who have been in the program since its start in March 2018 will now be graduating in March 2020. It gives me a way where I can build on me to be a better positive person to re-enter society. And I'm thankful for that moment. Every day of the week I wake up, I'm thankful for the opportunity to be a part of this program and be at this prison. A program that's changing how the prison system rehabilitates offenders and gives them a second chance. Cassandra Ortiz for the Georgia Department of Corrections.